What's up guys and gals, it's the Tyrant here and welcome back to my Halo 5 Guardians Mythic Difficulty walkthrough, also known as Lazo. That's legendary, all skulls on, no saves, no deaths, and scoring applied. So this is another non-combat mission. There's really not much for me to do here except show you where to go. So for these missions, I'm choosing to give you generic tips and tricks for Mythic Difficulty. The first one I want to touch on today is reload as much as possible. There seems to be this myth flying around that uh, reloading too often wastes ammo, which it, quite simply put, is it isn't true. You can reload as often as you want, you won't lose anything. Basically picture Lock or Chief ejecting the clip and then just inserting extra ammo into it and putting the same clip back in because that's basically all it is. Uh, you're not wasting ammo at all and since you can't see how much ammo you have, you definitely need to reload as often as possible so you're not caught in a bad situation and you also know if you even have additional ammo. The second tip I want to give you is shields. So again, you have the black eye skull on. Uh, when you're doing legendary all skulls on, just like you have all the skulls on, pretty much. Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I say pretty much. Yeah, you have all skulls on. So what you want to do here is, if you don't know whether or not you have shields, all you have to do is look down at your feet. And you, if you see your armor's all sparking and, and stuff like that, that means you don't have shields. Now, assume that most of the time on Mythic you don't have shields anyway, just simply because they don't automatically recharge. You have to melee an enemy to get your shields back. And that's fine for the most part, because you, your health will recharge, unlike your shields. However, you do need to keep in mind that for certain sections of the game, you will need to have some shields, especially if you're speedrunning certain sections. And of course, I go into, those, go into those as the missions go on. But essentially, using those two tips will help you get around the blind skull, because the blind skull can be very vicious, just like this guy right here. <laughs> He's not too happy with me. Um, but yeah, that'll help you out with uh, basically conquer the blind skull. And of course, unlike in other games, the reticle itself is in the dead center of the screen. Unlike in other Halo games, where it's usually about an inch, half an inch under the screen. So yep, that's it. Those are my tips and tricks for you today. Do those help you out? Do those encourage you a little bit to do Mythic Difficulty on your own? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, at Mythic Tyrant. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below. And if you can take the time to donate, I'd love for you to check out my Patreon page. Check out the rewards. Might be something there you're interested in. And of course, we have a store as well. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching and tuning in for my guide. I hope this guide is useful to you. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off. Ready, Commander Palmer. Okay, let's go.